In today's news, the executives of companies named in the industry's global hot list speak about their inclusion. The acclaimed artist Matthew Penn prepares for his light and art showing in London. And the Internet of Things. Is it the lighting industry's next big revolution? Lux Today for Tuesday, November 10th starts in just a moment, so stick around. Hello and welcome to Lux Today for November 10th. I'm Courtney Ferguson. Executives from the global hot list of the 20 most exciting lighting companies in the world have been speaking of their achievement. The companies were named in a ceremony in Hong Kong held in association with the international LED lighting organization Aurora. Lux Review's selection panel chose those brands which it says are setting the pulse in terms of innovation and market leadership. We're really proud to win this award. Basically, uh, it's a fantastic achievement for the team. We've only been going a few months, and for us to already be this far uh, well known in the industry and already moving our materials across uh, different sectors is a fantastic achievement. I mean, to win this award is a great achievement for basically for ourselves and for the rest of the team back at base. Quantum dots, uh, they're revolutionizing the market. Obviously, it's a replacement technology to phosphor, and we can guarantee that we can deliver far better products than any product you've seen before. We at Creative would like to express our greatest gratitude for two years. We have been awarded first Eldolite, now Holofane. Well, Creative has been well, trying our best to not just focus on technology, but a lot on innovations. So we wish to give our deepest thanks to the committee of Lux, having the recognition of our products and of course the technology behind. We are very happy to have won this award because it's a, a lot of recognition in the first place of all the work we've did, we've done. Um, what is special about this is that this is an industry that is so new that we, we did not even know ourselves what we had to do in the very beginning. We had ideas that later turned out to be uh, not a good idea because we discussed it a lot with the customers and they said, no, you should do this way, that way. So we changed our, say, strategy and architecture of the system along the way, uh, making it better and better meet the needs of the customer. The acclaimed artist Matthew Penn has been preparing a collection of his work for a special light and art showing next week in London. The hyper-realistic paintings are layered with a complex arrangement of light. Penn uses fixtures from Urco to bring the paintings to life. It takes place on November 18th and 19th at the Lightspace.London event, which runs alongside Lux Live. Another feature at the Lux Live show will be the IoT experience. It's designed to show lighting professionals the exciting possibilities promised by the so-called Internet of Things. The special zone has been created by the tech startup GUI. It features a pop-up store and office to demonstrate the services that can be offered by internet-connected lighting. The organizers have now put together a special animation to explain the IoT to visitors. Let's take a look. You've probably heard people starting to talk about big data, cloud computing, and the Internet of Things, IoT. You haven't? Where have you been? Didn't you know that by 2020, up to 50 billion devices will be connected to the internet? No? I know you think this is all hype and it's going to pass you by. Why would you want to connect your lights to the internet and get them to talk to a computer? Let's look at the building you have today. It's packed full of systems like fire alarms, CCTV, security alarms, data networks, lighting, HVAC, telephones, the building is groaning under the weight of all of the separate cables and sensors, and keeping them all working is time-consuming. What you would really like is all of these separate systems to talk to each other, so you can sit at your desk and keep a watchful eye over things and spot trouble before your clients complain. Good luck with that one. That's one expensive mission. Or is it? This is what IoT is really about everyday devices talking to each other over the internet. 
Think about it. Why do you need a sensor for the security alarm and a separate sensor to turn the lights off? Why won't the lighting system also switch the heating off? Wouldn't it be great if all these systems could share data? But that's only half the story. IoT is going to enable a whole new world of solutions to help the people in your workplace be more effective at doing their jobs. Now you're really confused. You think I'm mad? All you really care about is lights? Trust me, someday soon, your boss is going to come through the door and ask what this IoT is all about. Hmm, unless he goes to the IT guy first. Yes, the same guy who blocked you from using YouTube for years. Do you really want the IT guy to be in charge of this initiative? If I was you, I'd go along to Lux Live this November, take a tour around the IoT experience, and talk to the people who can make this happen. Revolutionize your lighting and your business. Register today at luxlive.co.uk. That wraps things up for us today, but remember you can get all the latest lighting news globally, 24 hours a day at luxreview.com. I'm Courtney Ferguson for Lux Today. We'll see you back here at the same time next Wednesday.